how to gather information about all VMware ASX or uh, SXI host in a given cluster with Ansible. I'm going to show you a live demo and some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Let's talk about the Ansible module VMware underscore host underscore config underscore info. The full name is community.vmware.vmware underscore host underscore config underscore info, which means that is part of a collection of modules to interact with VMware community supported. The module's purpose is to gather info about an SI host advanced configuration information. Yes! And now, parameters. The following parameters are useful in order to gather information about all VMware ASX SXI host in a given cluster using the module VMware host config info. First of all, we need to establish the connection with VMware vSphere or VMware vCenter using a, a plethora of self-explicative parameters hostname, port, username, password, data center, and validate underscore search. Once the connection is successfully established, you could specify the full xi underscore hostname, the sx xi hostname, or list all the hostname in the current cluster, cluster name. This is our use case. And now, demo time how to gather information about all VMware ASX XI host in a given cluster with Ansible Playbook. I'm going to show you how to gather information on all the ASX XI host in the current VMware production cluster using Ansible Playbook. Are you ready? Let's have a fun! Welcome to my editor. I'm going to show you one Ansible playbook. First of all, let's begin now a YAML document with three dash and a name for our play. Host in cluster. Info demo. Uh, that is going to be executed on host localhost. I'm going to use an, in my Ansible controller. Then let me specify become false because uh, I don't need a root privilege to execute this code and also gather facts uh, disabled. We don't need the system information. We are going to use the collection community.vmware. VMware, yes, here we go. And uh, what else? Oh, let me add a pre-task to include some variable using an auxiliary file. So let me include vars. The auxiliary file is called vars.yml. Here we go. Now let's focus on the task section. First of all, let me acquire the information. So let me gather info about uh, all SX I hosts in the given cluster. Is host is a plural? Yes. Okay, now, uh, Ansible module, which one? The Ansible module name is community.vmware. Uh, what was the name? VMware underscore host underscore config underscore info. Now, once we wrote all the Ansible module name, we can configure some parameters. So let me define some connection parameter. First of all, we need to specify the vCenter hostname. In my case, it's saved under vCenter underscore hostname variable. Let me specify also username, and that is the same story, will be the value of one variable. In my case, under vCenter underscore username and the password, same story. 
I prefer to store all these uh, um, parameters as a variable so I could reuse in a different Ansible playbook and just in case when I'm going to change a username or password I could uh, change only in one place so very convenient validate underscore search this uh, parameter set if uh, the SSL certificate validation need to be performed. This is extremely useful in a self-signed environment. And now cluster name is another variable. It's called cluster underscore name. Here we go. And uh, what we need to do when we acquire this information? Well, we save under an Ansible variable called cluster underscore info. Now that we have all this information, we can. the easiest way is to print it out on screen using ansible.built-in debug module. This module is only printing the variable and the variable name is cluster underscore info. As you can see, in a few lines of Ansible code, I'm able to connect to the, to the cluster, get all the SI host configuration saving a variable and printing out on screen. Now let's double check the variable file. Now let's move together to the variable file. As you can see it's very easy YAML document that defines the vCenter host name, in my case VMware example.com uh, that uh, use self-signer certificate so I specify validate to search uh, to force uh, some username and password. Please strongly use uh, Ansible Vault to store password and sensitive information. But this is a demo purpose. And cluster name is production, so everything is sorted out. Yay! Welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me connect to my Ansible controller machine via SSH DevOps as username at demo.example.com. Once connected, I already copied all the necessary Ansible playbook under the VMware directory, so let me execute using Ansible playbook and the name of the playbook file, so it's cluster underscore info YML. Okay, now Ansible under the hood is using the Python library to connect to the VMware infrastructure and returning all the necessary variable and configuration on screen. Yes, as you can see, these are all the detailed information about SXI host in a given cluster. Isn't magic? This is fantastic! Output is so long so you can scroll it up and uh, take a deep look of all these configuration parameters of all these uh, SI nodes for my VMware cluster. So this is a great resource to take a look of the current configuration of your cluster. Now you know how to gather information about all VMware SX XI host in a given cluster using Ansible Playbook. Thank you for watching. If this lesson was useful for you, see us on the next one and let's automate more using Ansible technology. Yay! And have a great day! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.